we have seen installation of tomcat server in previous video in this video let's see how to deploy war file to tomcat server using jenkins pipeline script get into jenkins we have a ssh agent plugin let's install that ssh agent plugin using which we can transfer war files to remote machines so get into manage plugins there uh, check for available plugins and search ssh agent this is a plugin we need using this we can copy war files to remote machines let's install it the plugin is successfully installed come back to home page i want to show you how this plugin looks in jenkins pipeline there's a demo pipeline job here let's open this and open this pipeline syntax so you can search for ssh agent so this is the ssh agent we are looking for using this agent we want to connect to tomcat server and copy our war file to tomcat server so before that we need to configure the credentials for tomcat server we get back to jenkins home page click credentials choose jenkins here and global credentials add credentials here so i want to go with ssh username with private key for tomcat server we have private key using private key we want to connect to tomcat server and copy this war file the username is ec2 user it has a private key let's enter this private key directly i want to copy this private key from my local file system it's under downloads this is a private key we want to use open this let's copy this and come back to jenkins and paste that private key directly here we don't have any passphrase let's give some meaningful id let me call this one as tomcat dev let's also give a description with same tomcat dev let's add it we added the credentials for tomcat and let's see this in pipeline syntax generator so open sh agent so in this case credentials going to be tomcat dev we also can check help on this by clicking this button so this is how it looks in our pipeline script it's taking this credential id using which it connects to the remote machine inside this we can execute some scripts like this so scroll down here i want to generate pipeline script for this one this is the credential id we are going to use and inside this block we want to take war file from jenkins machine and copy this war file to tomcat server let's copy this come back to demo pipeline code click configure this is how it's going to be let's modify this and put it part of jenkins file in git and execute it i want to execute a shell command here i want to copy war file from jenkins to tomcat server i want to use scp and i want to use this strict host key checking no when we connect to tomcat server first time there's going to be a pop-up saying yes no and that i want to ignore I want to pick up the war file from local machine which is going to be under target folder and I want to put this war file on tomcat server where username is ec2 user and let's also grab the IP address of tomcat server now so I'm grabbing this IP so on this machine I want to keep war file under web apps the path is this so in case of tomcat the deployment directory is web apps which is under home directory so we want to take war file from local machine which is jenkins and we want to put that war file on remote machine which is tomcat here under this path so this is going to be the code part of a script let's copy this let's ignore this job let's get back to github repository i have created one file called as deploy war file to tomcat open that 
So edit. We defined a stage called as deploy to Tomcat. We are using this SSH agent. This is the credentials ID. Using this, we are executing a shell script, which is SCP secured copy for copying files from localhost remote server and the location where we want to put it on remote Tomcat server. We are going to get this war file from this previous stage, which is going to do this MVN package there. Let's commit the changes. Let's come back to Jenkins again. Let's create a new job for this pipeline and click OK. So go to pipeline option. I want to pick up the script from SCM, which is in Git. Copy the URL of Git there. So currently it doesn't have any credentials, so I'm keeping it empty. The branch is master and the script path is this. So when we run the code, it downloads a script from this file and executes that script and it should deploy that war file to Tomcat server. Save and build now. It is successfully completed. Let's open the log and see that. So it's cloning the repository. It's creating a package. It's executing test cases there. It's using this credentials and executing this SSH agent. Using that SSH agent, it's copying the war file to that remote server. And finally, it's sending a Slack notification and the job completed successfully. Let's verify the deployment from Tomcat server. Let's go and take Tomcat server IP address. This is IP. 8080 is the port. Let's see the file name it copied to the Tomcat server. The war file name is this and the application name also must be same in this case. And enter. Yes. We see that application is successfully deployed into Tomcat using Jenkins pipeline script.